everybody it's it's me again um i've uh, i wanted to show you things in that i use all the time rather than just tell you everything that i that i go to work with i thought i would do it in sections for you um basically because i have um, a poor head I'm old. I can only remember so much, but and also it means I can tell you a little bit more than than I would normally. What I've done here is I've shown you the first lot. This is the second lot. Okay, this is stuff that again I couldn't do without. It's important for me to have it. It's also hygiene, um, cleaning up this and that. So I'm going to show you everything. So you all know about the hand sanitizer. I also have this which I use on myself I love it and it is called I just have to turn it around because I've got it's a lotion for the for the bodies you need to take something on to set or something with you to put on an artist a lady for example an actress um, just to make her feel good and comfortable it's quite nice to do this and just off she's wearing an off the shoulder number to give her something to get over her, her body. Be careful when you use and put anything on, make sure that you don't put it over any clothing that she's going on to set with and let it sink, do it hours before she goes around. And it's got a really lovely smell to it, she says, sniffing. Oh, it's delightful. It's lovely. Um, the next thing to have and I think that I couldn't do without this. This is from, to clean my brushes. I put my IPA in here and all I do with my brush is wallop, wallop, wallop and it's clean. And you, rather than hump around a really big bottle, I have, <laughs> this is in case I want a glass of wine or I use it as a brush cleaner as well. I, it looks good um, and I don't drink it. I collect lots of little glasses. I don't know why. Again, I always, I see things and I think, this will look lovely on my worktop. There was, there's a very famous makeup artist that I trained with when I was younger, Tina Earnshaw. And Tina was the one who installed in me. If you have nice things set out and you buy nice makeup, you will do nice makeup. And that has always been my excuse for spending a lot of money. Anyway, hand gel, absolutely essential, essential even. Um, and it's really important that you let the artist see you using it before you do someone's makeup. Then I bought this, which is um, by NYX. Um, I'm not quite sure why I bought it, but I felt it was important. It's a matte finish. So you can do makeup on somebody and if it's a very, if she's looking very shiny, instead of piling a lot of powder on her face, you just put this on the face, spray it on very lightly. I, I personally would put a little bit into a jar or a, a container and put it on with a sponge rather than spraying it completely on their face. I also carry one of these around for cleaning glasses. A, I'm having to do it all the time because I can't see, but also it's quite nice if um, you've got something to offer to an artist that you think, oh, she didn't expect that. That was very clever. And you score points. I'm sure I've told you about my map miracle. Um, and I, I, I am desperately in love with this. It's because I don't have a partner. That's very sad. But anyway, it's fantastic stuff to use. Use it with a very soft brush or a little tiny sponge and just stipple it, let it air, and it will just dry. Um, the other thing I have, and I bought this recently, and it's by Makeup Forever, it's an instant brush cleanser. Another thing that I didn't need, but I had to have in my kit. I have got probably a dozen brush cleaners, but I like this because it's small. I can put it in my kit. I can put it in my onset bag or something, and I can just carry it around. 
It gets exciting, everybody. Now, I love these. I don't like using water when I mix up for eyeliner. Um, and I have, over the years, bought these. And if you use these and you mix it with your a liquid liner, water, instead of using water, you use this, your eyeliner will stay on for days. Um, I've got this one, which is by Mac, no, it's Tillily. It's Makeup Forever. This one is by Paula Dorf. I absolutely love, this is my favorite. This is the one I will always go for. And I think this is probably around my fifth or sixth bottle. Um, this one's nice and it's from, uh, it's, <clears throat> this was a tester by Cryolan. I've had this since the Olympics, so maybe I shouldn't be using it still. But it's, it's still usable because I make sure the lid is, is well on. And this is from Screen Face. I will not use anything but these products, whether it's a liquid liner, a blocked liner. If you have a blocked liner, you'll just get the consistency that you want rather than use water. Um, this I will never, ever not take with me um, because this is really good if you've got someone who's got a very high colour on their cheek and you need to use that. It. And it, it doubles up as a moisturiser. Um, I have just recently bought this because I thought it was necessary. These are I've got to try and read the sensitive, sorry, sensitive skin face wipes. I've never really been um, a lover of these things. I would rather someone used a wet wipe, but I've discovered these and I've, I've been using this because my if I use these normally, my skin feels really dry, but I've found this is a winner for me. Um, so I've done that. I I've told you about my powders and I decant all my colour powders. So there's pink, there's this colour, <laughs> there's a yellow and a yellow. And I need to um, try and load up. I like using big, big powder puffs. I love these. I love these, love these, love these. Um, I have... I'm very clumsy. I have big hands. Anything that's too small for me, it will just go flying. And these are lovely and they just feel amazing. These can be used to put on makeup. They can also be used to take off makeup. You can also use them oh, for whatever you want. But they are just absolutely, they feel really nice because we've got that lovely sponge in the middle. Um, I think I bought these at uh, Harvey Nichols, I can't remember. It's a forever puff um, and you can use and put them in the machine wash. Yeah, machine wash to clean them. So all that struggling to wash it by hand. Um, this is my go-to. This is by Mac Pro um, and this is what the Mac Pro looked like after I decanted and made a separate thing to use it in. Um, I, li I like them but I think what I prefer to do is I prefer to put all the lipsticks together. I'll show you all the lipsticks together, all the highlighters together. I have to do that. I can't um, take something this size anywhere with me I so I've made little palettes and just to show you what I did was here I bought these empty and I've decanted all my colors into that so you can see it's much easier um, and who wants to and I keep this in the fridge so it doesn't go off lucky I don't have it I'm a vegetarian. No, I'm not. I'm a vegan. And the same for these. Um, see, I, these are lovely, but I can't and, and I won't use them. I will have to, before I work, take every single one out and clean it 
and I use a little bit of IPA. Um, I actually stroll a little bit of IPA with a brush over it and very, very lightly. I don't wipe it, I stick a tissue on top and just take and absorb everything. Um, it's a pain in the backside, but it's worth it um, because the one thing you don't want to get is a reputation because someone's had a, a cold sore and they can't go on set. Um, the next thing is, I love this. I actually can't remember where I bought it from. I think it might have been Boots. It's called Gloss. And there are three really lovely colours to do whatever you want. I use them for eyebrows. Dead easy to use. Um, and they just say, they just stay. So you've got your highlighter, another highlighter. And this is like a colour one fits all for eyebrows. I do like it. I'm sure I bought it in um, Boots. Um, I also have... I bought one of these, which is by, it's a colour shaper and it's a tap, it says taper point soft. It's an art brush. I use this to dig out things from my, sorry, to obtain things out of um, certain palettes. Um, but what I like about this, because it's got this lovely, it's got this lovely end to it and it's it's wonderful to try and use. If you're doing eye, eyeliner and you want to smudge it out, this is fantastic. It didn't cost very much money and it's just lovely to, it's very soft and it bends and it bends with the face and the skin. Yes, then there's the Chanel. Um, it's only a few people I will use Chanel on and the reason I this Chanel is just gorgeous. This is a, hold on, I still have some there. Um, it's a highlighter and to put under the eyes, it's wonderful. The reason I like this, I will always buy a concealer that's not too creamy because if it's too creamy, it goes on very heavy. And also when you start shooting, and they, especially if it's photography, they go like that and it goes white on the face. You want one, you want a concealer that just disappears on the face. It's worth, I think certain things are worth the money. Then I've got this, another one, which is by Prep Mac, which um, I like. And it's, it's, ah, there's very little left. It's a much lighter colour and it's, you'll see that it's, it's quite heavy. So you want to w w water it down with a bit of moisturiser. Otherwise you'll be stripping it off forever. This I bought on a whim. It's by Max Factor. It's a colour corrector. I like colour correctors because if you've got someone who's got a little bit of, of um, a discoloration here, it works really well. I'm not quite sure, I haven't got, to, oh yes, it, you just need to wind it. It's a highlighter, it's a really good highlighter. It's so highlighted that you can't bloody see it. But it's worth using it and mixing it with a foundation cream. Then I've got this, which I, I will say that I, I, I really, really like. It's by Esther Lauder. It's a bit hard to get the thing off. And it has a little bit of uh, blue in it. And this is fantastic. It looks really heavy, but it's, it isn't. Once you start blending it, I'll put this down and I'll show you. Once you start blending it, I always tap it, especially when you're working around the eye. Tap it out. And what it does, it just it takes, puts what you need and takes what you don't need away. It's a wonderful product. My word of advice is there. It's lovely. My, if I give you any tip at all, is when you do makeup, things which are around the eye, and I'm sure you already know this, but just take your time and don't rush. 
I love that stuff. Um, and I have some palettes here um, where I, oh yes, before I forget, I have to show you these. These, these are my photo, photo favorite eyelash, no they're not, they're eyelash curlers. And I love them because they have this little piece of rubber there. These are what I use. I don't happen to like, I'm not a lover of these. Um, and one that goes right around the eye. I What I do is I warm this up if there's a, um, a pot of hot water or something, wet it, get it hot, warm, and then just gently go around the eye and you'll get a really lovely um, eyelash curl. I love this pencil too. No, I've told you about that one. But meanwhile, back to these. Please buy these because they're hygienic and I, I'm not sure where they come from. I bought them a long time ago in, um, at a thing. This, this is, the reason I hate this is it, it's really hard to open, open up. But what I like most of all is the one colour, these, these three colours along the bottom. Um, they're the colours I would use. I've, I've used this up here for some reason and I think I might have taken it out. Um, but this comes from Screen Face, RCMA. And I love these colour lippies. Um, and I was in the process of, of cleaning them and I got a bit carried away and deleted and took two out of the palette. But that's, that's, what I do, that's all I want to show you. But these are the, and I, I assume that you've all got, I've never, I must be honest, I've got the, this is a lovely white mascara. And what the white mascara does, you put it on first, let it dry, not too much, and whack a, a mascara on and it makes the eyelashes look really, really thick. Um, that's it, I mean, all these other little things I can show you another time, but, like my blue pencil, which I can't do without. Um, and there's thing. I think what happens is you buy things and you think, I love it, it's good, and it makes me feel more confident. It's nice to use products that you feel comfortable using. So my word of advice is buy what you feel comfortable using, not one someone, not what somebody else tells you. And thank you very much.